So it's a, really a world you know, out, out of balance because if you look, 85% of our business is growing 14%. That is the strongest growth we experienced since 2017. And one market, China, is down 35%. So basically what you're seeing is you're seeing a business which is very healthy, except in two markets, war in Eastern Europe and corona in China. So in the short term, there's very little you can do in China because as long as you have the zero COVID policy, you're not get, going to get more you know, shoppers into the stores. But what we are seeing, which is quite interesting, our business total in China was down 35%, but our online business in China was up 12%. And it shows the appetite for the brand. But overall, as I said, it was the strongest growth we've seen since 2017 combined outside China. So it is clearly a world outside, out of balance. What about the supply chain issues and higher costs uh, relating to the supply chain? Are you seeing any indication at all that those might be easing up for the second half? So we don't think that the freight, uh, freight rates will go down, so we're not going to see any easing of that. And also we will see an inflation in the manufacturing cost, which we actually already uh, reflect in some of the guidance we've done, and that's why we also took, took pricing. So we're not going to see easing of that. You know, but as I said, you know, the upside is that North America grew 21%, you know, highest growth forever. You know, Latin America grew 37%. So you are seeing a high appetite in the market despite having a supply chain that is quite challenging. And that challenge will continue for, you know, for a period of time. Casper, good morning. I mean, it's interesting uh, just looking at the margin here and the margin development, operating margin 7.6% um, off 125 or 12.1% for the same period a year ago. Um, clearly, the gross margin is a little easier at this point as well. I think Under Armour kind of shot the market a bit yesterday by talking about the excess inventories and the lower margin. Do you see any opportunity here to turn that margin story around over coming quarters? So if you look upon you know, the margin decline we've had, you can more or less relate it 80 to 90 percent to two markets, China and Russia. And of course, you come to a given stage where you're resetting. We think that we'll continue to uh, run probably at a similar level as we do right now, but we expect again double digit growth for the second half, but it's, it's eventually really hitting a, you know, a bottom in China and then start growing again, and we expect that will probably take place by the end of the year, early next year. Because to put it in context, a year ago, China was 25% of our business, today is 12%. And I think it's getting the right balance, managing the business you have that is very healthy, the 85% in a good state, without really socializing the Chinese and the Russian challenge into the rest of the business.